This is gonna be a fun one tonight. Corona del Sol, about to get it in versus Dobson on a Thursday. I just checked out those Corona 24s, uh, which I was super excited to see. Uh, they rolled over Dobson's JV, but uh, I know Dobson's varsity is gonna try to put up this fight. My man Damian Duarte, a uh, dual threat quarterback slash athlete, um, can do a whole bunch of things, play some defense, obviously throw the ball around, uh, he can run, he moves around well out there. My man Honey Badger Jimenez, very active on defense. I know he plays some wide receiver, so I'm super excited for those two over there at Dobson. They got a tough little running back over there too that can handle that business. But man, this Corona team, I've been waiting for a while. I said a long time ago, this was gonna be a six or seven win team this year, just looking at their schedule and stuff like that. They are getting it done right now. Jake Schmidt, uh, Quaid Swearingen, Velasquez, who is a super tough running back. Holy smokes. He's really taking care of business and uh, shouldering a lot of that workload. Seems to be easing things up for Quaid uh, so that Quaid can uh, do his dual threat thing. Uh, Quaid, super talented athlete. Also plays some baseball. I love what Bechtold is doing over there. Built the program from the foundation up. Got there, I believe, um, at the end of the Ricky Pearsall years and, you know, has done a good thing over there. And this is exciting. This is an exciting time for them over there. Um, shout out to Coach God Hill over there at Dobson trying to do the same thing over there at Dobson and uh, make sure that that program stays right anyways guys leave those comments down below uh, make sure that you uh, turn them notifications on hit that thumbs up button show your boy that love give me those likes also make sure that you guys are following at just chili Instagram Twitter snapchat I'm about to pull up to the school and hey we're about to see this Corona Del Sol team uh, are they open bound let me uh, do your tip real quick. And this is my favorite go. thing that you guys do. Hey guys, y'all need that? to take notes over here. <laughs> Corona Del Sol, I'm telling you, they got this right. Fever guns, they no joke. This is the safest I ever felt. 20 minutes later. It's about to be bleed orange time. Y'all know what it is. Corona absolutely balling this year. I think they get the win tonight. I think they get another Oh, win. early prediction. I, I, Alright. I think it's I think it's time. Alright, well let's time. see what time it is right now. Y'all gotta know the legend. Y'all gotta know the What's legend. Up, man? We locked in right now, man. Hey, it's about to be serious. Schmidt can hit, boy. <laughs> Corona Del Sol defense kind of doing what I thought they would do and uh, holds Dobson uh, to the three and out. Hey, they're not gonna have too far to go to get in the end zone. 10 out of 10 says that this goes to Velasquez. Velasquez goes in for the first touchdown of the game. We're less than two minutes in. So we got another three and out. Uh, Corona Del Sol's defense definitely uh, doing what they got to do out there. Jake Schmidt led. And here we go. We get to see the offense with some room to move this time. I think they're 45 yards away from the end zone. So it's not going to be just one handoff to Velasquez. Although it might be. Let's find out. Dobson got some hitters, boy. My man Jake Schmidt caught that touchdown though from Quay Swearingen, a super dynamic playmaker, uh, committed to NAU, and, and I can see why. On defense, he hits. That's what he's known for. Hey, we're gonna watch him get back on defense right now. Safety alert coming up. Dobson's got first and 10 on their three yard line. And this Corona Del Sol defense, they're hungry. They're hungry for some of their own points.
Dang. Kind of expected that. My man Clay Swearinger and taking the top off as my man Jake Schmidt finds the end zone again, blowing past his defender. This defense is absolutely suffocating Dobson right now. Uh, Dobson has not made it past the 50-yard line. That is a pick six. 22? Hey, you look good out there. You read that right. Pretty sure that was a three and out. I'm kind of losing track right now. But um, yeah, the offense coming back on the field. We're about to see Quaid Swearingen go back to work. I don't know if it's going to be a Swearingen to Schmidt pass or a Velasquez run. But I kind of think it's going to be a pass because they got the yardage to deal with. But they might be trying to prevent the running clock. So it might be a Velasquez run. All right, Corona runs another one in, and uh, you know they are getting into the stratosphere of scoring, trying to threaten uh, Yuma Catholics' 84-point uh, shellacking last week. It is 34 to nothing. Corona del Sol leads Dobson. There is no way on God's green earth that they are going to score 30 times four. What is that? 120. Uh, four times four is 16. There's no way they're going to score 136 points in this game. Corona Del Sol running back Scott Musgrave finds the end zone again. Uh, I think that's the second time tonight. <laughs> it's disrespectful. <laughs> I know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, fire you. Fire you. Then you'll be out of a job. I'm retired. That'd be okay. <laughs> I would I do it. A lot of good memories. A lot of good memories. I try not to make it. Two minutes left in the second quarter. So what's Dobson got going on on their sideline? Like, what do you think that they have to do over here? You know, I saw them play earlier against Mountain View, and I saw some good building blocks. I like what I'm seeing. They're, they're just a few players away from, you know, putting it all together and competing. They're, they're, they're not as far away as I thought they were. Look out. No, no, don't. Oh. All right, the coolest story out here right now, and I got to ask you about this. You've been covering high school sports for so long. You see somebody like Devontae Neal patrolling Dobson's sidelines. How cool is that for you, watching him play at Chaparral, watching him go to Notre Dame, end up at U of A? What, what, how cool is it? It's so awesome, and these kids need to listen, and better yet, Google his highlight reel. But even more, Don't do that. <laughs> but me, even more importantly, you know, Chili, he could go back probably and coach at Chaptown. He could coach at many of the big programs. 
for him to give the love to the Dobson Mustangs and teach these kids and grow these kids, that's awesome. Hey, I see you still coaching them up and stuff. Like, they're down big right now. Listen. What, what, are you, what are you telling your kids? Just telling them to focus on the little things, man. Focus on what we practice on. I mean, you can't lose your head when you're down. You just got to coach them up, man. That's all we're doing. Hey, you're coaching like it's 7 nothing and not 47 nothing. That, that's what it is in my head. 0-0 zero, zero on my head. You know what I'm saying? That score don't matter. And how, do, about, and how do you get that in their head? They see the confidence in me, they think that translates to them. If I got confidence in them, then they believe in they serve. The second half has officially begun and the clock is getting that cardio. Y'all know what it is. It is 48 to nothing, Corona Del Sol. Let's see what kind of work they can put in this second half, provided they get it. Or does Dawson stop that running clock? Let's see if this Dawson defense can get hungry. Uh, the Mustang. clock is getting a heavy workout right now. What do you expect from this Corona offense? Because uh, this is going to be the second time we see them this quarter. Probably one more score, I'd say, and then uh, kind of let the clock run down. They got their backup soon, so we'll see what they can do. And that clock moves fast. Anyways, we're about to start this fourth quarter. Corona Del Sol still in this game, 48 to nothing. Hey, shout out to my man Makai Stuber picking up that first Dawson first down of the game. Hey, I knew they could do it. He didn't think so. <laughs> Corona Del Sol setting themselves up for a field goal trying to get to that 50 mark. Uh, you yes, guys sir. are now rolling 6 and 0. Yes, sir. But you were here during the dark days when you guys were like 1 and 9. Yes, sir. What, what's this experience like for you? It's been great seeing our program just come along and just become a brotherhood. People we grew up with, we've been we've been brothers ever since day one. So it's just it's a blessing to play with them every day. When did it like set in for you? Like, hey, we really might go undefeated. Uh, you know, we just go one game by game, take the steps, and we just we play it. We ball out every game. The Open. Is that the goal? Is that the goal to get into the Open? Yes, Because sir. there's so many people talking about, like, oh, I don't know if I want to get to the Open. I'd rather be in the 6A playoffs. No, we're looking to play the best team we can, best competition we can. We're just looking to be the best we can. So, yes, okay. that's so, always the goal. So I want to make sure I understand this. One game in the Open is worth more than a run in the 6A playoffs. Of course, yes. Yes, sir. My man wants to play against yes, the sir. best. What's your favorite class right now? Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, I'm going to go with Mr. Thornton. Mr. Thornton. What does he teach? Uh, government. Okay, all right. And obviously, NAU on the horizon. How excited are you about that? Oh, I'm, I'm stoked, man. It's, it's a beautiful place up there. I can't wait to get up there and just start balling out with my guys up there, too. Hey, get to stay home. Get to stay yes, home sir. and ball. Yes, One sir. of the best in the hey. state. Superstar in the making uh, over here, uh, right? Yes, hey, you have already eclipsed what you did last season. You know, how excited are you about what's going on right now? Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited about what's going on right now. Um, we're all coming together as a team. We're closer as a brotherhood and we just keep working every day and practice and getting better throughout the week. When did you guys start to realize like, hey, look, man, undefeated could actually be a thing? Oh, we knew we knew it coming into this season that, that we needed to do what we need to do. We need to be 8-0 to get in the playoffs and that's what we're going to do. All right. Open. That's where you guys want to be. Yes, sir. You guys don't want to be in that 6A playoffs. Yes, sir. You guys want to chase this open title versus Chandler versus Hamilton versus Warren. Yes, sir. We're not scared. We're not running from nothing. 
Hey, but you're running from a lot of things on that field, boy. <laughs> yes, like, you're out there doing that work. You know, what's been your favorite part about the season so far? Making it a bigger, better brotherhood and making more people notice Corona. I said as a freshman when we came in that we're going to make people know who Corona is and what we're about. All right, and with the pandemic, how are you guys able to build this brotherhood then? With the pandemic, it was hard, but I mean, we worked through it. Coach Beck told him, he kept pushing us, and that's how we are. With, that's where we are today. Now, what's your favorite class? Who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher? Yeah, who's your favorite teacher? Don't give me one of these football classes where you lift and weights and stuff. <laughs> I would have to say Coach Thornton. He's a funny guy. What class is that? Current issues. We talk okay. about everything going on in the world. Hey. He's also a great coach and a great teacher. So. Hey, and there's a lot going on in this world. I'm glad that you're learning about it. You know it. about that drip being from like Houston and all that, you know, you be sitting sideways and you know, <laughs> always, you got them elbows always, on your car. Come on now. Oh, we, we ride like this, you know. <laughs> Hey, six feet. Hey, my, hey, my man Paul Wall from uh, from Houston, yeah. and you know he grilled me up and stuff like that. But anyways, <laughs> speaking of grilling up, these kids from Corona absolutely yeah. grilled Dobson today. Uh, open bound? What are your thoughts on this I, team? I think so. I, I think they're one of the top teams in the state. That offense can really move the football, man. Anya, that kid is just a beast. Uh, he's definitely one of the best backs in the state. Quade, too. Hey. I mean, that, that dude can sling it and fire it around like the entire field. I don't care where he's at on the field. Multi-sport athlete. Can, that dude can hit targets on the money. We saw that tonight, too, as well. He nice. Uh, if, the, if, the, if the Open came out today, no doubt, I'd, they'd be in it. Oh, I want to know, man. where does Travis Scott rank in your Houston rappers list? He's in the top five. Top five? He's in the top five. Dang. He's in the top five. It's just what, and you know, and you know Who why are you I bumping now? Slim Thug? Gosh. Paul Wall? I'm going to put him in Mike Slim. Jones? Hold on. Oh, Mike you Jones? Know, you know what? You hey, don't hey, know about hey, Mike no, Jones. I know. I do know about 281-330-8004. Come on, Chili. <laughs> I'm not going to put Mike in the top five. Ooh. His song, his song, everybody knows, but I'm, I'm not going to put him in the top five. Oh, so I, I, I'll just say that. I'm going to find I out. Where... He, he, he didn't think I knew who Mike Jones was. Come on. Hey, we're going to test this Houston rap knowledge <laughs> one of these days.